Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as the Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have a super easy insert card for you. This is my sweater weather insert card. Isn't that fun with the little uh, drawing around it and then the, the little cutouts really add some fun dimension. This card can be made on any Cricut cutting machine. I have files for the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Explore, and the Cricut Maker series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make it using the Cricut Explore or Cricut Maker. But if you're a Cricut Joy user, click on the link in the description and it will take you to the tutorial that shows you how to use this card on a Cricut Joy. This card is super fast, super simple to make, and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. Here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're going to head to the resource library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can click get access. You'll fill out a form and then be emailed the password. But for now, we're going to head to enter the library. You'll type in the password and hit enter. And then you're brought to all the free files. For this project, you're going to want to look for number 133. That is the sweater weather insert card. You can go ahead and click that hyperlink. Download the file onto your computer. Make sure to unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2 Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we're in a new project in Cricut Design Space, we can head to Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open and Upload. Highlight the image and click Add to Canvas. Step 3 Convert score lines in any text. Now that the project has been brought into Cricut Design Space, we can head to Ungroup. And then we need to do some converting to some score lines and to some draw lines before we go ahead and make it. So, first we need to highlight the envelope score line. Come up to Operation to change that to Score. Highlight the group and Attach. We need to do the same thing for the card base. Change the score line to Score. And now I have two separate layers that are going to be converted to pens. Um, I'm using two different colors for the pens. That's why I have two different layers here. If you want to do both in the same color, that's totally up to you. But I have them broken up so that you can use more than one color. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Very Berry color. So I'm going to highlight that uh, layer, come up to the Operation menu and change that to Pen. And then right here, I'm going to find that Very Berry color. That's right here. And then for the second color, I'm going to be using Adobe Clay. So I'm going to come up to the Operation menu, change that to Pen. And then come up here and find Adobe Clay. Now we can just highlight that group and click Attach. We can head up to Make It. I'm going to be using On The Mat. And Continue. I'm going to be using Medium Cardstock for this project. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out and I will see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that our two pieces have been cut out, it's time to go ahead and assemble. So you're just going to grab the card base, go ahead and fold along that score line, 
and use your scraper to burnish. Go ahead and flip the card open and then take the insert and place it into the slits on that card base. And there we go. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side so I can work on the envelope. So for the envelope, we're just gonna fold and burnish along the score lines. On our inlay panel, we're just gonna add glue along the outer edge. And then around the cutout on the envelope itself. Now take the inlay and place it over that cutout. And try to center it the best that you can there on that flap. Spin that around. Fold the side flaps in. Add glue along the bottom edge of the side flaps. And then with your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press. And that forms your envelope. Your fall card is all set. How easy was this card? It comes together super fast. That's one of the reasons I love insert cards. You see a whole bunch of them on my channel and on my blog. I hope that you guys like this one. If you do make this card, make sure to post it in our Facebook group. We would love to see your different creations. We have thousands of crafty friends there to motivate and inspire each other. There's a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. I'll see you at the next card making video. Bye.